I pre-apologize for the glare on my glasses. I am too lazy to put contacts on, so we're just gonna live with the glare for this particular video. Earlier tonight on my Instagram story, I asked you guys how I should rearrange my bookshelves because they kind of look crappy right now, for lack of a better term. I like have books lying around everywhere. There's no real organization to it. I like that for a short period of time, but like, I like change also, so I really want to change it up and I asked you guys if I should organize it by color or by height. I've done both of those things in the past. I had color coordination back when I lived outside Toronto like forever ago when I started booktube and I had height a few years ago. I like both of them, I didn't know which one I wanted and you guys voted for color, which is a lot more complicated for me. But I'm gonna go with color because that's what you guys wanted. You also said you wanted me to film it, so I'm filming it. I've never attempted to do something like this before, so it could turn out horribly wrong, but I need to empty my bookshelves first. Okay, I hope post-editing Ashley made that work. They are blank. Let's do this. shelves since I only had one shelf. This took me like 
two hours, guys. Not lying, it took forever. I'm very happy with it. It looks really, really aesthetically pleasing. I don't know how long I'll keep it this way because quite frankly, I normally do it by genre and I think by genre is how I like it best, but I wanted to try something that was more aesthetically pleasing and less like organized for me personally. So I tried this. Sorry for the gap in time from the like sped up me organizing the shelves to right now. My camera died because it took two hours for me to film this to organize my shelves and I was too impatient to wait for the battery to recharge to keep organizing. So as you'll see I did have some of these colors stacked sideways because I thought that I wouldn't have enough space on my shelves for all of the books to be spined. But I realized that the reason I didn't have space for that before is because I had a lot of books faced out because I loved the covers or they were like favorites of mine. I decided not to do that this time and just go with the spines. So I actually ended up with a little bit of extra room as you will see like right there for books that I will buy in the future which is very exciting because Having space for new books is always exciting for everyone. All right, so that's pretty much it. Make sure to comment down below and let me know how you guys organize your shelves, whether you like the rainbow one, whether you thought it would be better by height or genre. I'm always curious to hear what you guys really, really like your shelves to look like because everyone's really different and I find that a lot of people like are very adamant in their, the way that they organize their shelves, whereas I'm pretty like lenient. I'm just kind of like, I change it up all the time. I don't have one that I'm like, super 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 like this is how I organize my shelves forever I'm not really like that I'm not really like that in life really about anything but make sure to comment down below and let me know if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want notifications when I post new videos you can click that fun little bell button I don't know where it is under the video but wherever it is you can click it if you want notifications when I post new videos and other than that I will see you guys soon with another video and thank you so much for watching and happy reading. Bye!